Hello students, let us do new experiment. This experiment title is Implement Basic Connectivity. Here are the file on the screen. This is a Cisco packet tracer file. This one is a lab manual. You can file the same file into the link given in the description. Just double click on this packet tracer file. Here it will open the three window. In the first window, you can set your user profile. You can write your name, your email address. And in additional info, you can write any detail which you required for your experiment. So you can add the extra detail in the additional info. Just click on OK, your detail will be saved. Now in this two window, here it is an instruction window, it is a practical experiment window. So now let us split the screen. The two sections are available. Here we can read the instruction and here we will do the experiment. So here the first thing is address table. Address table is very important for the experiment. You need to understand here the detail of device, interfaces, IP addresses and subnet mask is given. So whenever in this experiment you need internet IP addresses or subnet mask, you need to refer this table. So here let us complete this three part of this experiment. In first part I will configure switch 1 and then the same way I will configure switch 2. In the second part I am going to configure the computer. I will going to provide the IP addresses to the computer. In the third part, I am going to configure the IP addresses into the switch. And then I will going to check the connectivity between all these four devices. So let us start. First click on a switch one. Here in this switch, I need to provide the switch name. So I will go to the config terminal, write the hostname command and I will give the hostname as a capital S1. So you can see that switch name has been changed. Now I will provide the control password and then I will give the encrypted privilege execution mode password. To provide the console password, the command is line console and then zero, then password, write down the password as per the manual which is a Cisco. Write the login because it is a login password and then you can write the exit. Now provide the encrypted privilege password for that the command is enable secret and then password the password given is CLA double S class give the enter and then exit now you can check all this configuration by writing the command so running configuration so if I type this command here I can see that host name is switch one secret password is encrypted enable password and then to check the console password onto the enter I can find my password for the console connectivity so now I need to set the banner message. Now to set the banner message, again I need to go to the config terminal. Then the command is banner MOTD. MOTD that means message of the day. And between the code I need to write my message. So here I will type the message as per the given instruction. So here the message is authorized access only. Violator will be procured to the full extent of low. So let us uh, save this configuration. To save this configuration, the command is copy running config to startup config. That means your configuration will be saved from RAM to NVRAM. Now let us check the startup config. That means check the NVRAM. Here in the NVRAM, we can see that the host name, the enable password. We can also check the uh, banner and you can also check the console password. So everything is set for the switch 1. Now I will apply the same command for the switch 2. For switch 2, just click on a switch 2 and write all the same command. So first of all, I will change the switch name. So enable config terminal, then host name, it is a switch 2, then so console password is line console 0 then write down the password as per the instruction it is a Cisco write down the login and then exit then set the encrypted password enable secret and password is class then exit now type the banner message again type the same message so I have set the banner message as per the instruction authorized access only violated will be 
prosecuted to the full extent of low. Now let us save this configuration for that copy running config to startup config. Now let us check the startup config. Again all the detail is stored for the switch 2. So here we have completed the part 1. The boner message is also there. Console like password is also there. Now let us close this switch 2. Now I will follow the part 2 where I need to configure the computer. So here two computers are given. So I will set the uh, IP addresses for both the computer. First of all click on a PC1. Then you can see that configure IP. Here in IP configuration here I need to write down the IP address. So I can find the IP address from this table addressing table which is 192.168.1.1 and subnet mask is 255.255.255 then close the dialog automatically it will save the IP address now same for the PC2 I will add the IP address which is 192.168.1.2 and then subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 then I will close automatically it will be saved now there is a part to test the connectivity to the switch. So what I will do? I will ping from PC to switch. For that I need IP address of switch. So I can get the IP address of switch from the table. For switch 1 it is 192.168.1.253. For switch 2 it is 192.168.1.254. So from PC 1 I will try to ping switch 1. For that the command is ping then 192.168.1 dot two five three so let us try to ping the ping is not successful it is request timed out so reason is that we have not set any ip addresses for the switch so without ip addresses it cannot ping you can uh, try it from the computer too also you can go to the command prompt you can ping switch to the ip address is 192.168.1.1 so again the IP ping will be failed. We need to set IP address for the switch 1 and switch 2. Let us do it. Go to the switch 1. Go to the config mode, config terminal. Now just go to the VLAN. So interface VLAN. By default there will be always VLAN 1. So go to the interface VLAN 1. Now the command is IP address. Then IP address which is 192.168.1.253 for the switch 1. Then subnet mask 255.255.255.0. After assigning IP address write down the most important command which is a no shutdown. So when you write the no shutdown that means administratively that interface will come into the active state. So your IP address for switch 1 is stored now IP address for switch 2 so IP address for switch 2 is dot 254 go to the config terminal go to the interface by default VLAN which is a VLAN 1 then write down the IP address which is 192.168.21.254 then write down the subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 and then no shutdown Again your interface is in active state. So we have set IP address for switch 2 also. Again I need to save uh, all this configuration for switch 1 and switch 2. To save all this configuration I will go to the switch 1. I will write the command from copy running config to startup config. So again the configuration is saved. I will go to the switch 2. And I will write the command copy running config to startup config. So both configuration are saved now. And now I will try to ping from computer 1 to computer 2, switch 1 to switch 2. So let us ping one by one. From computer 1, I will open the command prompt and uh, IP address is already given for switch 1 which is 192.168.1.253. Let us try to ping it. So I am getting uh, request timeout for the first one but for the remaining three I am getting the successful ping. So you can see that I am getting three successful ping. 
Now let us try to ping switch to 192.168.1.254. So I am getting the ping. First is timeout. For the rest of the three, I am getting the ping. So let us ping the computer to PC2. So IP address is ping 192.168.1.2. So I am getting the reply from computer. This is how experiment is going to work and we have implemented all the required. So let us check the result. Click on the result. Here in the assessment session you can see that we have scored the full score and all the uh, connectivity test assessment item are fulfilled. Thank you.